Hey guys, Coach Mike here. And this is Coach Cam. And we are really excited about sharing with you the top six players of all time were invited to a contest on Two Touch Wall Ball Air. Two Touch Wall Ball Air is nine feet from the wall and you have two or more touches to get it back to the wall. And you wanna do that as many times as you possibly can without the ball dropping. Now there is one other rule. You have to do 10% or less touches with non-feet, which means you can only use your thighs, your chest, or even your head less than 10% of the touches. So we actually had one player that, uh, one entry that got disqualified because they used more than 10%. Cam, how does this skill translate to the game? Well, that's easy. My coach at Carolina, Anson Dorrance, always talks about how first touch is by far the most important skill in soccer. Mm -hmm. Not that the others aren't very important they are but if you have a poor first touch the older you get the better your opponents get you get crushed right there's, there's the game, no time the game gets yeah. faster and if yeah. the ball gets away from you or yeah. if it gets caught underneath you you're going to lose it before you're able to do anything effective with it's it. it's interesting because when brant bronico trained here i asked him that question what's the most important skill at the mls level he didn't hesitate he said first touch you have to have a clean first touch. So when it's frustrating for you guys that are just beginning on first touch and passing, these are not easy skills. They're very hard to master and they actually take many, many months and even years to master them. And you'll see some of these players in this video are absolutely spectacular. Let's start with number five, Logan Lavender from Virginia. Logan is always a contender in every program that he competes in. This one was particularly difficult for him. His first attempt was disqualified because he had too many non-foot touches. But his second attempt was much better, much cleaner. And one of the things I like about him, he's got a target on the wall, which is focus. He ends with 79 passes on this attempt, which I know he's got a lot more in him than this. And up next, number four is TJ Fisher from Virginia. TJ was visiting relatives away from home when he did this one. His dad told me he finished at 1 a.m. in the morning, and he got 99 on this first attempt. His second attempt is one of my favorite clips because he's, look where he's doing it. I'm not sure if he's at an office or at a school, proving yet again that you can always find a place to test. He got 166 on his second attempt. And number three, where do you think this one's gonna be from, guys? Virginia, but a different part of Virginia. Kyler Williams is number three from Virginia. Kyler is our youngest player in this contest, and take a look at his consistency on his placement on the wall. He ends his first attempt at 151 passes. One of the things you'll notice is as they get better, they take fewer touches. So Kyler is already learning to take fewer touches, which makes him faster with a higher count of 199. All right, that was an awesome, awesome display of a young, young player becoming extraordinary at a very difficult, a very difficult skill. And then up next is number two, Cassidy Nichols from Maryland. And Cassidy is very interesting because I've challenged her personally to move back from the wall and to try different techniques. And what you notice about her technique is really, it's, it's a different type of, of control than what you've seen so far. So let's watch Cassidy. Cassidy's first attempt, fewer touches on the ball, faster, more consistency, more accuracy. Her first attempt is 187 passes. As if 187 wasn't enough, how about adding almost 100 more passes to become number two, which is kind of hard to believe. She crushed all current records and her own record with 285 passes. And number one, drum roll please, Cameron, is Annika from Finland. Annika Huta from Finland. She's been training with us for many years. She absolutely has an extraordinary first touch and is actually coming to the U.S. to play Carolina. at Carolina. Yeah, yeah. In and uh, in, in June, this June, this coming June. So uh, very excited about this. Now take a look at the difference in control, the difference in technique between each player. And every player, let's say number five, should be aspiring to get to number four or three. Three gets to number two or one. And you'll see some um, significant differences in the control, the accuracy, the consistency, how they body posture, and it gets better and better and better. This is pro level. 
What is most surprising to me about Annika's attempts is that she did all three videos in the same practice, in the same practice. So she did it first time, which is this one, which got her 159 passes. And you can see at the end here, when she drops it, she's clearly not happy. A few minutes later, she does this final attempt and you can see what's so consistent. She's doing receive with one foot, strike with the next. Receive with one foot, strike with the next. Very quick. So she gets a lot more passes in in a fraction of the time. Very smooth, very consistent, hitting the same spot. Now let's watch how she ends it and her response to getting what she knows is an extraordinary score of 332 passes. Let me take a minute and teach you guys all something here. This is really important for you to get these two things. The better these players get, the less touches they take. It almost looks effortless when they get to the Nichols level and Huta level. That's the first thing I want you guys to take away. So get simpler with your touches, faster with your touches, more accuracy. This takes a lot of time, so it's not easy. The second thing is they all started at the same place, right here. You guys hear me talking about some of the world greats quite a bit, and one of them I talk about is Steph Curry. He never goes out and throws up three-pointers right away. He does this kind of a warm-up, right under the basket, and then he gets further back, a little more complicated, just like Jordan is doing, just like I want you guys to do. You start out warming up your touch. You start out simple. You add complexity a little bit at a time until you get your confidence up and you feel like you're kind of in the zone. Once you get there, then you go step up to the line and you start your training or you start your competitions or your personal best scoring. Either way you're doing it, it's always the same kind of a warm-up. No one ever sees me, sees me. Oh.